Hey guys, today is June the 26th. It's on a Sunday and I got notification that this box got put in my uh, mailbox um, at the post office. So, um, so I went and got it and I'm doing a boxing right now. So, here's what it looks like. My box kind of got damaged, so I might have to find another box to do the wreath. But here is what the box looks like. A trip to the sea side with LBC, little box of crochet. I really do like this keepsake box. And the bottom is just white, but I really do like that. So, when you open it up, here's what it looks like. So, the first thing we have in there, sorry if you hear my air conditioner, but it's kind of hot. So, the first thing you got in here is this book. Here's the front, and then there's the back. Says little box of crochet, a trip to the seaside. And then it says, here is the welcome. Here's the welcome. It says, Hello, my loves. Amanda here. Welcome to your box, your trip to the seaside with LBC box. Okay, guys, remember, I hope that thing will go off. I don't know what that is. Oh, it makes it lighter and darker. Okay. Well, this box was sent to me, this box was sent to me supposedly on July the 11th. I am 12 days behind on the crochet along. So, I guess I'll be doing it by myself. I'm a little disappointed, but I'll be doing it by myself. Okay, so it says, Amanda Bloom's little box of crochet, a trip to the seaside. It says, welcome. Hello, my loves. Amanda here. Welcome to your trip to the seaside with LBC box. Are you ready? Have you got your fish paste booties packed and a bottle of orange uh, orange squash? We'll be stopping for fish and chips on the way home so you won't get hungry, right? On the coach, on the coach, everyone. Buggy, bug, buggies, a seat at the back. For anyone who hasn't been on a coach trip before, there's, that's where all the action happens. So, I'm so excited to, um, so I, I'm so excited to be going on this trip with you all. When you, when you dread virus, when the dreaded virus really hits here in the UK and Borsi announced lockdown, there was one day when I thought that little box of crochet could be in real trouble. I was worried about you all and wondering if the postal system would be working and would I be able to get all the supplies we needed to fill your boxes. For a moment or two, I could see our wonderful community and everything Jenny and I dreamed of going up in smokes. But of course, none of my fears were real. Uh, were realized. Royal Mail has done an amazing job of getting all the, your boxes to you. And after ringing around all my different yarn suppliers, it was clear that everyone was as determined as I was to carry on and keep things going. That day ended for me with me feeling relieved and proud. I'm proud of all the suppliers and makers whose work fills your boxes. 
I feel quite celebratory and the thought occurred to me that although we couldn't have the real LVC outing to the seashore wouldn't it be fun to have a virtual one remember the camaraderie of our advent calendar advent boxes I realized that we could do the next best thing to an actual day out we can control uh, can we can crochet ourselves a glorious day of sand sea and all the seaside delights of a good old trip to a British seaside town there was no doubt that Kate Eastwood was the designer to make this happen for us so I rang her and we spent a long time squealing plan planning and laughing excitedly as the projects took shape in our mind and here it is we're going to have a 30-day crochet along making all the beautiful components that add up to a stunning wreath and bunt bunting set that just screams summertime finally let's talk about the book this isn't it gorgeous it was designed by our own katie prisky and made in the depths of Katie and it's a P E S C H K E and made in the depths of Dorset by Morgan and Chrome at Nut. I want to fill mine with all the sea sh the shells, pebbles, and sea glass that I pick up everywhere I go. The yarn we've chosen is Rickram. Rikromia. It's R I C O R U M I by Rico Design. They pulled all the sport stops out to get this huge amount of yarn to us in time. The eagle eyed amongst you have noticed that there had to be some color substitutions along the way. Kate's original wreath base had three colors of the sea, sand, and sky. We couldn't get the sea colors and we had to substitute it for the sky color. We took a judgment call that you wouldn't mind as the wreath space was mostly be covered with lovely bits and bobs. If it bothers you very much you can raid your stash for a yarn that you think would work but we really think it looks so gorgeous as it is. We've also used a gorgeous vari variation, variated yarn for the sand. You have 32 beautiful little balls of Rickermon, is it R-I-C-O-R-U-M-I, -I, to play with. And there is so much yarn left over that you can make more bunting in different colors make different color beach huts or kites maybe or make a much larger string of bunting for you could even add more bits and bobs onto your wreath this is your trip to the seaside and you can make it to suit you we just want you to have a lovely time and here's a picture of that here's a picture of that one and then here's a picture of that. And then it says, as always, with our little box of crochet projects, you'll find, you'll also find your 2.5 millimeter soft handle hook. Do check your tension before you start so that you don't run out of yarn co colors as you go. And there is, there is your bookend, bookend safety stash into a cute felt ball we've popped a little piece of navy grocery green ribbon oh, okay navy ribbon in, in for you to hang your finished wreath with and you'll find a piece of wire which you'll need to fly your kites on Cleo from Cotton Claire has made us a little kit to embroidery a wooden bird. We love her kits. 
They're so easy to do and always look so elegant. You'll find a PU KKA tea bag also. I'd like to think of you all sitting down on day one, mug of tea in hand, starting your wreath all around the world. Well, not all around the world because right now I'm 12 days late. We're so lucky enough to have two fantastic British makers design design and make some special stitch markers for you. Liz from Capo UK has made this delicious ice cream cone one ones and Emma from Yarnistry has produced the fantastic uh, starfish one. I love them both so much. Our scrumptious Kate, Katie, P-E-S-K, I mean P-E-S-C-H-K-E, -E, has designed two lo lovely postcards for you. One with all the seaside fun on, and the other larger one is my current obsession, Mr. Blue Well Esquire. He also comes in a matching notebook. We've popped a wedge of stuffing in the box for your stuffing elements. Sydney, Sydney Seago, for instance. You may need to supply the stuffing for mainly for um, our main priority is to fill the box with yarn and goodies as it's pretty easy to lay your hands on something to use as stuffing. I use yarn ends, O, t o tights, O pillows, and cushions. And of course, our patterns are in this booklet. Again, designed by Katie. Nariel has done some accompanying blog posts to guide you through such days. You'll find these on our website, www.littleboxofcrochet.co.uk, and you can join in at any point depending when your box arrives. The post will remain up permanently so you can go to them whenever you need to. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for coming up, coming on this trip to the seaside with us. I hope you have loads of fun with it, make new friends, and leave your troubles behind you. Amanda, Mo, Hazel, and Naira. X, X, X. And then here's those pictures. So now we know what's in the box. And then here's the little thing that says what we're going to be doing. And then, of course, you got the uh, conversions. And then it tells what colors we should have. We should have aqua, print mustard, white, silver gray, mouse gray, Red, mustard, blue, denim, fox, nude, smoky rose, nugget, pink, coral, uh, staffron, reed, p, e, c, r, u, and ivory. And then that's what we're supposed to do. And then it says tips for making your wreath and bunting. And then it has to make the wreath base, the wreath cover, and then it goes on and on, which is kind of cute. Here's what the finished project is going to look like. can't wait to make him. I might skip to him and do him first. Okay. And then we have Meet the Designer. We have Meet the Designer. And then it said, and that's it. Oh, we do like to be Oh, oh, we do like to be beside. I 
think that's what it says. And so that's what it is. I like that nail too, don't you? Okay. <coughs> so here is the tea that she is talking about. And then here is Cotton Claire's embroidery bird. I can't wait to do that because Y'all know my name is Birdie. And then here is the wire for our kites. And then here's the postcard. It says Life's a Beach. And then here is the book, notebook and it's just blank papers and it says i will i will always love you i'm putting my wire in the book so i don't lose it and then here's the large card that she said i will always love you here is our 2.5 millimeter hook Here's what stuffing she gave us. And here is the navy ribbon. And then here is the starfish stitch marker. Do you see that? And then here is the ice cream stitch marker. I think that's just cute. Okay. I'm not for sure what colors these are. So this one right here, and then here's all that it gives you. It's 25 grams, and it's 100% cotton, I think. Yeah, 100% cotton, 25 grams, 57.5 millimeters, and I'm not for sure what color those are. But we have this color. Yeah, I'm not for sure where the where it states the color. that one that color that color that color that color that color that color 
32. I have 32 colors, so I did get the amount that I'm supposed to get. I just don't know if I got the colors I'm supposed to get. And this is the ball, the felt ball. And then this is the bookend. And let's see. I don't think it has in here what number each one of the colors was. Okay, it says Aqua, the 74, 74, This one is aqua. Okay. And then mustard print is O2. Mustard is O2. White is O1, and that's white. This is gray. Mouse gray is fifty nine. And this is mouse gray. Red is twenty eight. That is red. Mustard and then blue is thirty two. What 
call it boxes. is nude smoky rose is tin that is smoky rose nugget is 56 and that is nugget pink is 11. Coral. Coral is 9. And that is coral. And then 63 is Stephan. S A F F R O N. And then read. Is 75 and this is read and then P is 77 and that's P and then 54 is E C R U E so this is E C R U and then ivory is 61 and that is ivory just in case you want to see them i really do like this ice cream do you see it that looks good enough to eat <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching hope you all enjoy it i like little boxer crochet that's why i get them I get frustrated that I like them and I know I shouldn't get frustrated but I do get frustrated and um, but I do like them and I am going to order the advent calendar because this will be the third year and I've done them all three years so I hope to see y'all soon and I talk to y'all later and I love y'all bye guys